Okay, so this video is looking at network diagrams. It's the first one of three looking at the skills of networks. And then we'll start talking about, you know, constructing network diagrams and that sort of thing. But you have three skills that you need to be able to cope with doing in networks. Okay, the first skill is that we're going to talk about in this video is traversability and that is is it possible to start somewhere and go along each arc so each road to each place once and only once okay so you can go to each place more than once but you have to go along each road once. So if I'm looking at this, I'm just going to get my highlighter. If I went from 5 to 1, 1 to 2, 2 to 5, I'm allowed to do that because I haven't gone back over a road. 5 to 4, 4 to 3, 3 to 2. Ah, oh, I can't get to 6. Okay, so the identification of can you make a route around the network without retracing an arc that is traversability okay now the actual mathematics that you need to worry about is you need to look at each node and decide is it odd or even and that's because each node has a even or odd number of arcs so I have two arcs there so my node is even I have three arcs here so my node is odd I have two arcs there, so my node is even. I have three arcs here, so my node is odd. I have three arcs here, so my node is odd. And I have one arc here, so my node is even. And for a network to be traversable, it has to have only even nodes. And if it has only even nodes, you can start and finish anywhere. Okay, so you have to be able to travel on every single arc and you can start and finish anywhere if there are only odd nodes. The other condition for traversability so that will be one that's traversable the second condition for convert traversability is if you only have exactly two odd nodes oh my pen's stopped working there let me get that back So if you have exactly two odd nodes, you start at an odd node and finish at the other. Now, in my case, I have four odd nodes and two even nodes so it does not matter where I start or where I finish that network is never going to be traversable I'm never going to be able to travel on every single arc and visit every single node but but I have to can't travel on every single arc once and finish every single node okay okay so that's my first skill for network diagrams that's traversability uh, in the next video, we're going to talk about shortest path, then we're going to talk about our minimum spanning tree, and then we'll start talking about how to draw our network diagram. See you next time.